guys so for today's video we'll be doing the viewing of root vent towers located on root vent avenue in new kingston close to half a tree their phase one tower one has been completed and is ready for applications at this point we're heading up root vent avenue and we are actually entering from half a tree road so we made the right off half a tree road onto root vent avenue and then from there we'll be just taking the second entrance as it seems one entrance will be used for the ent for entry and the other will be used for exits so we are now at the entrance if you're coming from trafalgar road then the entrance will be the first thing you'll see for root vent towers so we are entering in here you will see some feather banners for the banks as we will be doing the financing and we are just getting our temperatures checked and also checking the list for our registration as for today they were only accepting persons who had pre-registered for viewing so root vent tower one which is the one that is currently available will have 14 two-bedroom apartments and 72 one-bedroom apartments tower two three and four which is expected to have 243 one two and three bedroom apartments is expected to be completed in 2024 so the first one we looked at was the spacious two bedroom apartments so we started off as you enter the room the first thing you'll be seeing is the open concept living dining and kitchen so the kitchen here you can see is very spacious has a lot of cupboard spaces at the top and at the bottom as you can see it also has a double sink and the space located in area for the stove so on the side here we have where there is a space for the washer and dryer there is also the space there for your linen closet as well as a broom closet so we have moved on to the living room where there you can see there is a nice open concept a lot of ventilation for the living area with the glass doors slide doors for the living which opens up to a covered patio space so to the left upon entering after the kitchen there is the bedroom number two you also will see that it has wide windows for ventilation i can see that in those rooms are very cool and they also provide you with a ceiling fan in that room as well you'll also get the option for the ac the same piping that runs from the living room should you want to install an ac in the bedroom so here is the bathroom for the second bedroom this bathroom as you can see comes with a tub not a shower but you know in the future if you desire to change it out you can the tiling is very sophisticated clean finishing and not bad for the sink as well i think it's quite fine for a starter house and if you so desire to make changes to them after then you can go ahead to do so noting also that the rooms have smoke detectors installed as well which is key for safety another thing to note for bedroom number two is that it has an adequate size closet space and shelves to the top as well for someone like me who really loves having storage space that is definitely key so I'm just going to go ahead to give you a little view of the covered patio area which gives you a view of the front of the building basically the parking area at the front So next I went ahead to view the master bedroom which is bedroom number one which is to the right upon entering the apartment. Similar to bedroom number two there are wide windows for ventilation and also there is the opening which allows you to install an AC unit should you desire that for your room. So it has a walk-in closet not a very big walk-in closet but definitely can work and for the bathroom the difference between this one and bedroom number two is that the bathroom is a glass enclosure so bedroom number one has a glass shower while bedroom number two has a tub a bathtub 
definitely a bigger mirror for the master bedroom but basically the sink space is almost the same getting the um, storage area and a little area to put your personal items to the side So next up is the one bedroom apartment upon entering similarly there is the space provided for your washing machine a space for your fridge and then I just went ahead to start off showing you the covered patio section which is similar to that of the one for the two bedroom and this one gives you a view to the side basically out towards Route Ben Avenue. So from this is the living area, the open concept, similar to that of the two bedroom section as well. And then similarly, as I said, there is a broom closet. So the entrance has the space for your washer and dryer, a space for your fridge and the broom closet. Similarly, upon entering, the kitchen is located to the left. The Built out is basically the same, maybe less cupboard spacing than that of the two bedroom, but basically they use the same finishing for the kitchen as well. Noting that there is a built-in space for your stove between the cupboards, however, your fridge, there is a space that is made to the left, well, to the right upon entrance that you'll be able to put your refrigerator So next up we'll be entering the bedroom. So here you have the bedroom, same open windows for great ventilation. Each bedroom I've noted was installed with a ceiling fan and the piping already built in for your AC unit. This similarly has a walk-in closet to that of the master bedroom of the two bedroom section. A good size walk-in closet and then to the, there's a bathroom which also has similar fixtures to that of the two bedroom. Noting that the one bedroom comes with a bathtub and not a standing shower. So upon exiting the bathroom behind the bedroom door, there is a little closet space which was created for your water eater. This is also available in the two bedroom, in the master's bedroom, but we didn't see that section for some reason when we viewed it. But based on the NHG representative, we advise that there is also a water eater set up for the two bedroom in the master bedroom as well. So after reaching this far in the video, you must be wondering what the selling prices are for root vent towers. So based on their booklet that they provided, the, they will have up to 7 floors and the prices from ground floor to 7th floor will run from $27.7 million to $37.7 million. And these can be financed using NHT and your bank of choice. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely let me know down in the comment section if you've been enjoying my property tour videos, if you're finding them informative and would love to see some more in the future. I know a lot of my subscribers are house hunting and definitely want to see what's out there in the market, what the prices are like, what the places are looking like and if they can afford to buy houses in Jamaica. 
So this is where I end for today and of course I end by saying continue to be your most authentic self and of course guys continue to stay naturally. Until next time guys, bye.